Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jo. For those of you who might not know me, I am an illustrator based in Canada and I own my own Etsy shop and I sell all of my stationery with my originals, original characters and designs on there. So I took a bit of a hiatus from YouTube. You guys will not have seen me for a long time and that's mainly due to being a little burnt out because I had so many projects on the go and I was wearing myself too thin. So I was working on rebranding and a shop relaunch, like a complete shop relaunch. Like everything in my store that I was making that you've seen in the vlogs has since been removed and I've put all new designs and products into the shop. I was also working on content for my Patreon that I wanted to launch this year. And I was also working on a podcast for small businesses. And it is the new year. Today is Friday, January 15th. I have successfully relaunched my shop. It has been amazing. I'm so overwhelmed with the response to the rebrand and relaunch. It has gone really, really well. I'm really thankful and excited about what's to come. I have also launched my Patreon. I have 10 Patreons right now, which is so incredible and everyone seems to really be enjoying the content that I put on Patreon. I put a lot of thought and work into everything that gets put on there. And all the links for my shop and Patreon and everything will be down below, by the way. Yeah, and the um, podcast is still in the works. I'm still recording. It's hard because with the with the podcast, because I'm in, I'm hosting and interviewing other small businesses, I have to work around their schedules too, as far as getting the episodes recorded. So that project has taken longer, which is fine. I, I was working on too much at, at once. So now I'm really focused on that to get that going. But yeah, um, I'm so sorry that I had to take a break from YouTube, but I promise that I'm back now. Um, I'm gonna be uploading every other week and there's no like set date during the week that an upload might happen. I left that so that my brother who edits my videos and I have a bit more flexibility as to when I can record and how much he, how much time he gets to edit, to upload them. And that just gives both of us a little more flexibility to make sure that we actually do keep on track with every other week of video goes up. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, that also means that I have more time to record during a week or I can at least record the more interesting things that I do and record kind of the highs and lows of what goes on in the shop because this is a behind the scenes studio vlog so you guys get to see everything that happens behind the scenes. So I'm going to show you guys a little tour around my office space now because it has changed dramatically since you guys would have last seen. So I want to show you the space that I'm working in and then I need to get thank you cards ordered and we'll see how long all that takes and um, see where the day goes. Okay, so I want to give you guys a quick tour of what the space looks like now because it's definitely changed since the last time you guys would have seen it. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour. Over here is where I keep all of my products. So on the spinning rack, I keep all of my art prints, postcards, greeting cards, large planner stickers, pretty much everything goes on that spinning rack. That is a larger item. All of my stickers go into these bins from Uline, as well as the bookmarks up at the top. And they're sitting on the shelf from the dollar store. And in this bin, I have all the pins that I'm hopefully launching soon. I have all of my button pins and all of my magnets. Moving over to here, I have uh, my art cart and the topper for my cart, which you guys may have seen. I just keep down here. So all my most used tools are in the top, but if I need extra counter space, I just pop the top on that. And in the corner, I keep my tripod and my Canon printer is on top of this cart, which I am getting rid of that soon, hopefully. So my printer is on top of the cart. And then down here, I keep all of my different kinds of art paper. I have my silhouette portrait, which is what I'm using to cut all of my stickers now. I 
put my Cricut away and I'm not using it any longer. And then in behind is where I keep um, projects in these bins for future launches. In this drawer, I have these large envelopes for mailing orders. And down here I have chipboard and I have a couple, couple rigid mailers left. Up in the top here, I have my smaller mailers and envelopes. I have all of the glassine. This is the last of my cello that I have that I'm phasing out of the store and I'm switching over to all this glassine packaging. And I have even more glassine down here. And down here I keep all of the photo paper for product photos. I have product photo props and then these are all the stickers for packaging as well as my silhouette cutting net. Moving on to here, this is my standing workstation, which is my packing station, or if I wanna work on other things and stand up instead of sitting all the time. Down here, I have this bag, which my boyfriend's mom got me for Christmas and I love it. It's got little llamas on it and it's big and sturdy and I put all my orders when I'm done packing them in here to get ready for the post. And then I have a ton of slot boxes and larger boxes if orders are too big to fit in any of my mailers. I got this standing workstation from Amazon and I have a lamp here. I have a um, bending tripod for when I do lives and I package orders and it comes with a light on it. And these are, this is, this bin has all the things that I need to pack up in it. And what I keep up here is everything for packaging. So it's within my reach. I have my scale and my uh, letter mail slot thing from Canada Post so I know what kind of mailer to put it in. I have a calendar from Emily Hervey Art. I have a bin here with all of my stickers, my freebie stickers and um, recycling cards. Uh, that's all part of the new packaging. You guys will see me make all this later in the vlog. And I have my confetti, my stamps, and my thank you cards. Um, so yeah, I decided to record this like studio vlog a bit after because I knew I wanted to reorganize things. So yeah, you'll see a lot of this stuff um, be placed differently and that I design these um, during this vlog. And moving on to my desk, this is an L-shaped desk from Amazon. Um, I love this thing. I love how minimal it is and I love the wood top on it. So over here I have my um, guillotine cutter, my iPad. These are some projects I'm working on that I need to do on TikTok Live soon. This is my calendar for all of my Patreon stuff that I need to get done. I have my label printer. I have a lamp with accessories in it. I have my notepad from Emily Harvey Art um, that I got from the dollar store. I have a coaster for cold drinks and I have my hot plate for hot drinks. This thing's amazing. I love it. I have my keyboard mouse combo from Amazon and my mouse mat from Catnip. And then I keep all of the cords in this box here. And then the desk came with this like piece of wood that you're supposed to put um, a computer on it and keep it underneath um, the desk. It came with wheels and stuff, but I didn't put the wheels on. I put it on top to put my laptop so it's up higher. Um, that way I have more space on the table for my keyboard and then um, it's better for my back to be looking more directly at my laptop. And then this is my gallery wall of art prints from all my favorite people. And last but not least, I got these set of drawers that are similar to the Ikea Alex drawers, but this is from Amazon. So I just keep all of like supplies in these. I have vinyl in there. This drawer is clay earring stuff. These are basically all the art projects that I work on that aren't for the shop. They're just more personal. And then this has like my financial binders, extra tissue paper, some notebooks and that kind of thing. And then I have a recycling bin right there because there's a lot of recycling that comes out of stuff from the shop. So yeah, that's pretty much the shop setup. Okay, so I recently ordered from Moo for my Patreon postcards and I was incredibly impressed with the quality of them. They feel like a matte 
velvety, buttery texture, and they were so thick and just amazing quality. So I'm going to order thank you cards through them because I'm almost out of the ones that I have from Vistaprint. And I want to do a square postcard this time, and I get it in the matte finish coated on the back only. And the great thing about the Moo postcards is that they allow you to upload more than one art piece of artwork for a, a order of postcards. So I can order 100 postcards but get a different design on them. So I'm going to design three different postcards. I have the template in Procreate right now. And I'm going to design three different ones so there's a bit of variety. And then there's going to be like a fra matching freebie sticker that'll go with them. Hopefully. We'll see how the designing goes, but I'll take you guys through a time lapse of me drawing the artwork. Okay, I finished all the thank you cards. So I did four because I'm gonna order a hundred. So I'll get 25 of each. And I have a strawberry juice box, a blueberry juice box, a banana juice box, and an orange juice box. And then I made matching stickers as freebies to go in the orders that will match the art print slash um, thank you card. So I'm just on Moo now uploading the designs and then I'll just finalize them and order those in. Okay, so for all my packaging, I use Cello. These are normal cello bags um, because they don't offer the compostable cello in this size. But all of my other cello in my shop for all of my stickers and bookmarks and everything like that, these are all compostable. They say they're made from plants, but to me this still feels like plastic and people are still throwing in the garbage and I really don't know how long it takes to compost those. So I ordered a thousand <laughs> um, glycine bags. So I got three different sizes. I have these small ones. I have um, a larger size one and then a five by seven. So I'm redesigning the packaging so that everything, this is like the medium size one here. Whoops. So unfortunately my little planner stickers are a little too big for these. So they'll have to go in these medium sized ones. But people tend to order more than one of these. So I think I'll leave them unpackaged and then when it's not, whenever people order them, I'll package them all together in a glass scene bag. Um, I think it looks attractive, but then it also helps protect against water damage in the post because these are water resistant. The great thing about glassine is they're recyclable and compostable. So whether someone throws them in the recycling or the garbage, um, it's better for the environment either way. So I'm just redesigning all of these little labels that are gonna go on them. I did a mock-up of how I want them to look on my Valentine's collection. So I have a little star sticker to seal the top and then this is how the little label sticker shows. And you can still see the design through it. But yeah, that's how all the packaging is gonna look. So I'm just designing all of these stickers and then I'll get them all made and cut with a silhouette. Hi everyone, and today is Sunday. So yesterday, Saturday, I spent the whole day restocking stickers in the store so they'd be all ready for the week, as well as um, 
I made the juice box stickers to match the prints that you guys would have seen me made earlier in the vlog. So what I've been working on today is I've been really struggling with packaging. I've decided to switch from cello to glycine bags entirely because they're recyclable as well as biodegradable. So um, really trying to push eco-friendly packaging on as much stuff as I possibly can. That being said, I have to redesign packaging and I also have been struggling because I was using tissue paper. I was using just plain white tissue paper and I thought it was kind of boring so I wanted a custom print tissue paper and I figured out a hack to do it but it's very very time consuming and probably not good for my printer. I switched to tracing paper and my printer doesn't feed it very well and it takes so long because I have to feed it through seven times before it'll print. So when I do a hundred sheets of it at once I have to feed it through like an astronomical amount of times. So I've actually done some thinking and some researching and looking around and I'm gonna show you guys what I think is gonna be the solution for the outside packaging. Since all the inside packaging now for the products and everything is done, I am done all the glassine packaging, um, designing it, so everything's good on that front. Okay, so I found these on Uline, which are called Frosty Mailers, but they're essentially a glassine um, vellum, and it's pearlized, so it'll have a really nice finish to it. They're translucent, so you get a tiny bit of a peek of what's inside. So I'm gonna buy these, and then I'm going to design a custom stamp on no issue tissue because I have a couple of, I know a couple of people who have done this and the stamps have come out really crisp and nice. And I'm going to put the stamp, I'm gonna stamp the little Jolly Pop, um, Jolly Pop face. I'm gonna design the stamp like that to put it on the mailer. And these um, frosty mailers, if I click on additional info, they're recyclable, which is, awesome and it's saying that inks and stuff are fine to use on them and they won't smear so if i use a, an ink uh, stamp then it won't smear anything and it's perfect because it's like a little envelope so i can put all the products in here put the little stamp on and then these will go into the mailers instead of using tissue paper or whatever else. I think it'll just be really time saving, but it'll also like look really nice and it's kind of unique. I don't think I know anybody who uses something like this. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm ordering one of these wax seal warmer kits with the melting spoon and I found this um, pastel mixed um, set of sealing wax. So I'm going to seal each frosty mailer with a pastel colored um, wax seal. So I thought with the stamp and the wax seal, it'll be really cute. Um, it'll look really nice. It'll match the branding because of the colors and the glassine. And it'll just like make this look a little more classy. Um, Cause I know everyone uses the tissue paper, but I want to do something kind of unique and fun. So let me know what you guys think of this. Um, I have the vision in my head <laughs> we'll just see if it works out. So I'll take you guys through designing this. Okay, I finished designing the stamp and I think this is what I want it to look like and then this will get stamped onto the glassine envelopes. The other thing I wanted to talk about is I had done these little stickers that say this glassine bag is recyclable and compostable and I've been putting them on every single glassine bag. But I had the thought that if I design a business card and print out the business cards that say that all of the packaging is recyclable because my backing cards, the glassine bag, the glassine envelope, um, all of that is going to be recyclable packaging. So I think that I'm gonna design a business card where on the front it says um, something along the lines of this shop tries to be eco-friendly and all the packaging is recyclable or try and reuse it because the frosty mailers like you could probably reuse them to keep things in like you could keep your sticker collection in them or something. Um, but then it also allows people to know that everything's recyclable instead of wasting the paper on these stickers because I use a lot of them. And then on the back, I'm going to have all of my um, information kind of like a business card. And then those will just go into every order. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna do something simple like this and just do it one-sided so I'm not wasting ink on the paper or anything and it's just gonna be a tiny little business card side. So I did a sketch of the recycle sign and I think I'm gonna do some like pretty pastel flowers um, as part of the design and then I'm gonna kind of rework this a little bit, but yeah. Okay, I think this is the final design. I'm settling on just something really simple, but really fun with the pastel colors. It'll go with all the other packaging that I have. So I'm going to put these into Photoshop and then do a test print. Okay, so this was the test print of the first design. And I thought that this was a little too close to the edge and I thought the writing was a little too small. So I adjusted it and I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I'm just printing this on normal cardstock so it's also recyclable. So today is Monday. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I pretty much spent the whole day cutting more stickers with the silhouette, um, which again is very loud and tedious and I just wanted to get it done. It's not really worth recording a ton of. Um, I might in the next vlog, we'll see. Um, and then I was just prepping stuff. I'm gonna go live on TikTok and get a bunch of products ready um, and package orders because I'm gonna take orders to the post office um, tomorrow. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the first vlog here on YouTube of 2021 and I will see you guys in, um, not next week, but the week after. So in a couple of weeks when I am back. So thank you so much for watching and for supporting me.